as well. Right now, WMAR 2 News' is Aaron McPherson is live in Baltimore County with more. Most of the damage we've seen today throughout Baltimore County is trees down. Now, there is a massive one behind me that missed two homes in this area. The other trees down that we saw blocked roads and others took out power lines. It's crazy weather this summer. Crazy storms. Storms ripped through Baltimore County. It just came from every direction possible. It just, the wind came, shears of rain. It was wild. In front of Margaret Green's home, a tree blocked Green Spring Valley Road and hit a power line. It's a pretty big tree that hit a smaller tree, and it's made a pretty big mess. Plenty of trees dropping. In the Gwen Oak area, another big tree came down, just as Adrian White was getting his family to safety. As soon as I get down to the bottom of the stairs, I go over into the living room and literally see the tree going across the yard. The tree missed his home and his neighbors. I started yelling to him, are you all right? Are you all right? And he yells back, yeah, I'm good. Anthony Hawkins saw the tree fall too. Wind started picking up real big and real high. To, and I seen the t big trees start to blow. And when I looked out the window, I just had to look out to the window and the uh, root of that tree, this tree right here just came up and it just laid the tree over it. The branches barely hit his home. A couple of top limbs just touched my porch here. It's just a matter of cleaning up. I have a fence on the other side that was destroyed, but it can be replaced, you know, and then their, face, their fence is destroyed also. Both just happy everyone's okay. It's just a blessing that nobody's hurt. It yeah. really is. Feeling very lucky. I mean, minor house damage done. These neighbors tell me this isn't the first time a big tree came down in the area, but this time it didn't have any damage. They said a few years ago, one of these big trees actually destroyed one of the homes here in this neighborhood. So they are very happy no one was hurt today. Reporting live, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.